Hi everyone, so this is the uh, detailed solution for the quiz we posted on Thursday, November 3rd. Uh, this was a CFA level one time value of money question. So let's read the question out first very quickly. So someone is evaluating the retirement account of a person, Joe, and Joe now has INR 1 million and will retire in 12 years, okay? So they are talking about a person who is going to retire. He already has some money and he has certain number of period after which he will retire. He needs to, or he, sorry, he plans to contribute 25,400 per year. So that is the amount of money he's able to save every year and contribute to his retirement. So now if he wants or needs 4 million at the time of retirement, that is 40 lakh rupees, what is the interest rate or the return required, right, to get to that particular target he has, the retirement target he has, the return requirement, okay. So there, is, there are three choices, okay. So let's see what is given. So this is a TVM question, time value of money question. There are five data points for any TVM. You need four and you can figure out the the other one so here the question is to figure out the return which is the i slash y the uh, return for that uh, 12 years to get to his target of 4 million so the present value as i said is 1 million that's what he has now and he's going to make payments for 12 years because that is the time after which he will retire so n is going to be 12 and this is in years so keep a note of that it is in years right payment is going to be annual payments of 25400 so it matches with the yen and the future value he needs is 4 million always uh, note that while we are using the ba2 plus professional or the 2 plus calculator we need to ensure that the present value and the payment if they are going to be into the account they are in one sign and the future value as in, in another sign because you're assuming you're going to take that money out, right? So this is going to be negative in our calculation and the rest of the money that we already have and we're going to be paying every month is going to be in the positive. Okay, so let's go to the calculator. All right, so first thing you have to do when working on TVM is to clear all the values. So this is the, this area has the TVM keys, the N, I, I slash Y, PV, payment, and FE, the future value. So now we have to clear it. So make sure there's no other random data they already stored from your prior calculation from the prior problem. So second, FE. So this one on top is clear TVM. So when you do that, all the stored values are reset so they have become zero so for example if you recall payment it's zero recall yeah and all of that has been cleared and now we can start working on the problem so let's input these values we know n is going to be 12 years so 12 click n and then enter don't forget to click enter now the value is stored i slash y we don't know that is what we're going to find so we'll come back to it PV we know, right? It is 1 million. And PV and enter. Don't forget the enter. All right. And payment. Payment is going to be 25,400. And click payment. Click enter. Done. And FE. FE is 4 million. Dun, 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 dun. Yep. FE, enter. All right, so now we have entered the four values. So we just like just double check if you want to make sure it is correct if you have the time in the exam. Uh, yeah, it's all good. So now uh, the last step is simple. We just have to click compute and click I slash Y and you get the interest rate. It is 10.8159. So 10.8%. So the closest is 11 percent i hope you found this helpful and uh, you know if you have any other questions just leave a comment below thank you have a good prep for your cfa and frm classes